Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Clinique. It's called the Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Um, this is, I have oily skin, so this is made for oily skin. And I have the liquid soap. One second, let me grab it. I'm in my bathroom. So Clinique Liquid Facial Soap Oily Skin Formula. I have oily skin, but Clinique has um, soaps for dry skin, combination skin, any type of skin out there. I know I look a little crazy. I just woke up. I'm going to wash my face. Do um, I've gotten some new pro like during quarantine. Um, you know, I am surprised how many things are on sale right now. So actually, um, I got a few things from Paracode that they're, um, 50, 50% off. Um, I guess a lot of people aren't buying skincare and stuff like that because I got this at TJ Maxx for maybe 60, 50% off. And same thing with the hydrating jelly. This is for all skin types too, but I, you know, it's like a, a jelly, which is kind of like made for people with oily skin. Um, I, did, I just heard it's for all skin types, but like me, if I have oily skin, I don't want anything heavy on my skin. Um, I just wanted um, something, you know, lighter. Um, I couldn't pass up, you know, I needed face wash. And I needed um, a face lotion. And then when I was at Marshall's, it says oily skin. I was like, you know what? I've had some of the Clinique products in the past given to me as a sample or I've seen it. Um, I've tried a few of their products, like the cleansing oil. I really like that. It's not, it's not a, cle it's a cleansing balm. So I've tried, I like Clinique and it was you know, super cheap at Marshall's right now, and, um, you know, right now, the mall is on, like, so much stuff at the mall's on sale, um, if you get a chance to go in and grab a few things now, that would be great before quarantine's over, because I went to visit, I want to start my face as I'm talking, but I went to go visit my boyfriend in Pennsylvania, because I got laid off and I've just been sitting at home for the past few months. I'm still applying like for a job for unemployment, like you kind of have to look for jobs, but just waiting for my job to open back up really. Um, but when I was in Pennsylvania, the what is it called? Macy's. Everything is 60% off. They said it's their black Friday. So, everything is on sale. I understand some people aren't going to spend anything because they're just worried about, you know, food and, and saving and all that. But if you can get a few items now and save more money later on, when everything opens up. So I needed a few things, so I got this for 50% off. So Marshall's is the way to go if you can. But I'm really liking this soap. Been using it about almost a week and definitely helped my skin not be as oily. I really like 
like the cooling feeling it leaves. Today, I just plan on putting a little makeup on, cleaning up a little bit, and then heading to the gym. During this whole quarantine, I've been really taking care of myself. Usually during work, I would be so busy taking care of other people that I forget about myself. And during quarantine, I've kind of pampered myself a little bit. Exercising, taking extra baths, doing mask and skincare. And this, this has definitely just cleared my I don't have pimples really on my face. Sometimes on my neck I would get a few, but this definitely has cleared my face up, make it look healthy and shiny. Not shiny, but just like that glow. I wanna put the jelly. Moisturizer. This dries really fast so you can do your makeup. There's some makeup that I've gotten before quarantine that I just never got around showing on my channel. Looks like it's gonna rain outside. pull my hair up real quick. Another thing I got was the, this was from TJ Maxx Castor Oil Leave-In Treatment from o Oleology. Sometimes I'll put that in my hair. I'll probably just wash my hair tonight after my bath. So, just kind of fix my hair, brush through it. I washed it last night. I've been so bored during quarantine. I'm just trying to relax because this is the second wave of the quarantine. My sister was going to visit, but she can't even do that because of her job. So. Hopefully this will be over soon enough so we can get back to normal and I miss working. But I've learned how to eat right and exercise every day because before I wasn't doing that. I was taking care of other people and not myself. So one good thing about quarantine I learned how to take care of myself. So. Oh. I heard a lot of the high end foundations are going on sale just because right now no one's really buying anything. Um, so, I picked up one foundation, I've never, I've heard great stuff about, um, like high-end foundations and, and Tom Ford, so I picked up a Tom Ford foundation for um, $40. So if you guys get a chance, now is the time to pick up products for dirt cheap.
because normally I would not be buying a uh, top floor foundation, but usually the foundations I buy are between $20 to $40. So if Tom Ford is coming out with one, I'm just letting my skin dry for a second. Oh, I forgot to put this in, <laughs> but I'll do that another day. But I got a Paracone foundation. And when I was at TJ Maxx, I picked up an eyebrow gel. This is, this one was, I think it was, yeah, $4. Cause I know Anastasia Beverly Hills has a, a paint pot and it's, it's like 20, 20 something dollars and the brush is 20. You get both for uh, $4. I'm just gonna do my, oh, I probably should do my foundation first. Just with this one. This is the Paracode Serum. This was 60% off and it has good products in it. Yeah, it's a serum. So, check it out real quick. I just want to show you the foundation. It's so light that it just blends in. And I've been loving this. I wore it to church yesterday. When I went to go get this foundation, it said it was 22. The girl at the cashier said it was 22. It was originally, um, originally 60. And then 